thank you so much for um, seeing us today. For oh, this is my pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> so, we have had quite a lot of requests of sort of questions for you because um, I know a lot of fans of yours. So, <laughs> first question was. Um, how did you prepare for the role? This is your first historical that role in a historical drama. So, did the preparation involve? Was it, was it different to just you know regular acting preparation? Uh, as you know, I had to do two roles in this movie. One is a uh, real king, and the other one is someone, someone, some normal uh, guy who has to uh, be a king. Uh, but historically, the real historical king, Wang He, has two different uh, 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 reputations. So one is, as we all know, his really bad king. Uh, he did a lot of bad things when he was a king, but on the other hand, he did a lot of, uh, he did a lot of political or uh, diplomatical uh, jobs. And political-wise, we can say he's rich, he was really brilliant king. So there were so different uh, reputations. So I decided to act the real king in this movie with this bad sign. And you know the fake king. I decided to act this positive side. So when you watch the movie, if you if you can combine those two people, then that would be the real history king. Yeah, that's, that's how I uh, make the ca uh, characters. Did you have to research any, uh, any historical details like um, the way people dressed, the way people spoke? Was that, was that, was that slight different? Did you have to look into that? Or did you just um, approach it as you would a modern model? Uh, you know, uh, people say we need to speak like this because the old Asians speak like this, and they walk like this. Who knows it? We can imagine it because nobody experienced that. So, uh, but there's some kind of uh, real uh, rules. Uh, but uh, uh, before the shooting, I had. A lot of uh, discussion with the director. So, what do you want me to speak? Just like the old people, old, old um, ancient people, or or uh, you want me to say uh, recent uh, speaking? He said, uh, "Why don't we go middle? Because sometimes, if I say really, real ancient." speaking, then the audience would think, wow, he speaks really weird words, and the way he speaks is so unique and different. They don't, they cannot into the movie, the story, sometimes, if I speak really uh, weird. So, uh, he don't want to be interrupted by the lines to the stories. So he won the audience can fall into the story more. So that's why he wanted me to speak the middle. So yeah, so we, uh, we just did like that. And um, as, a, as an actor in Korea, have there's been more and more, um, that there have been more and more Korean films in, in mainstream cinema. European audiences have been watching a lot more Korean films. Um, in terms of Korean actors, 
them, as I know you tend to work with also with American directors, do a lot of them seek to um, to work abroad, to work in America or Europe, or is that seen as kind of something to aspire to with a lot of British actors, say, who want to work in America? Or is the film industry booming enough as it is in the Korean actors are happy to work in Korea? I'm not sure about that, but um, I guess, uh, yeah, they might want to work in a world overseas, especially in Hollywood, because we could show more people. Because, you know, um, actor, singer, maybe uh, most of all artists wants to release more their performances. Uh, so maybe that's uh, most of them would like to do that, but the problem is the language and the culture, of course. Language wise, uh, we can learn, we can study more, and so we can speak in English more fluently, but still. feel the same culture-wise is really hard because we didn't raise up in in states or Europe. So that's the one of the hardest part to to get. Maybe but as a as an actor, is there any in the future is there any specific film that you can do to work on? Of course, I can account. Actually. There, are, there are a lot of great directors and actors and actresses. So, for example, I'm working with Bruce Willis, John Malkovich, Anthony Hopkins, Colin Murray. It's kind of dreamcast. Yeah, but I'm. I'm seeing them every day to uh, to shoot. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like it's it's not realistic. And to me, Cassia, do you think it will, if what you've seen so far, that uh, European audiences seem to be very receptive to um, Korean comedies or films? Um, drama. But in terms of historical drama, do you think that will translate well? Do you think people will understand? Or is it uh, too specific? Especially this movie, Masquerade, is not that kind of hard to understand. Cultural, culture wise, for, for everything. Because um, it's really simple. Uh, and everybody can understand what it is. That's why we brought it to LA and we had a we had a screening in LACMA, the museum, LA museum. And there were a lot of uh, uh, American uh, critics and directors, a lot of people working in um, the film industry. They really liked it. While they're watching it, they clap. They were clapping, they were laughing a lot more than Korean. Yeah, so that I could feel, wow, they understand everything. So yeah, I hope European, especially London people, can enjoy that film. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Did you watch it?